I'm Sarah. Welcome to The Daily English Show. Today we're studying a song called The Only Two Options by Cavalier Calm. Cavalier Calm is the people's bard on YouTube and Reddit and Cavalier Calm on SoundCloud and Twitter. He's all over the internet and I really love what he does. He writes poems and songs for people such as this one, The Only Two Options. The song was a response to a post on Reddit. Someone posted an image using overly attached girlfriend in the advice animals subreddit. If you're thoroughly confused by that last sentence, please check the script for today's show. We link to everything. Cavalier Khan's song starts like this. Me and my girl are attached at the hip. We ain't so good for each other, but we can't quit. Attached to the hip is an idiom which means that two people spend a lot of time together so it seems like they're always together. You can also say joined at the hip or inseparable. The end of the song goes like this. So we better figure it out baby because an early grave don't sound good to me. Can you guess what an early grave is? An early grave means a premature or untimely death. If you live until you're 85 and then you die of a heart attack, then you probably wouldn't call that an early grave. But if you were killed in your 20s by your crazy lover, then that could definitely be described as an early grave. Kia ora, in Stick News today, contractors doing renovations at a school in the US discovered blackboards that have been untouched for almost 100 years. Emerson High School in Oklahoma City recently hired contractors to install new whiteboards and smart boards. When the contractors removed the old blackboards, they discovered another set of boards underneath. The blackboards hadn't been touched since 1917. The old boards contained lessons about maths, reading, music, handwriting, personal hygiene, pilgrims and God. And that was Stick News for Friday the 19th of June. Kia ora. Today's word is destined. This is from today's song. Some love is destined to be full of pain, but both parties want it just the same. Destined is an adjective you can use when something seems certain to happen. For example, here's a headline from The Telegraph. The MP candidates who are destined to fail. The article's about candidates who the author says are certain to fail. <laughs> if you have a B in your hand, what do you have in your eye? What? Beauty. I don't get it. Beauty? Why? Because beauty is in the eye of the beholder. What did you say this park was called? Is this suburb called Cornwall? Is there a playground here? Isn't that the same thing? What's the difference? Cornwall Park. No, Cornwall's a place in England and this park is named after the Duke and Duchess of Cornwall. There's some royals from England who visited Auckland in the early 1900s. Yeah, there is. It's not technically in Cornwall Park, it's in One Tree Hill Domain. No, they're right next to each other though. They're run by different groups. Cornwall Park's managed by the Cornwall Park Trust and One Tree Hill Domain is run by the Auckland Council. If two people are attached at the hip, they A. Need hip replacements B. Spend a lot of time together Spend a lot of time together
An early grave means A, to be buried in the morning, B, to die prematurely. Die prematurely. If something is destined to fail, it seems A, certain to fail, B, designed to fail. Certain to fail. Cornwall Park is named after A, a city in England, B, some royals from England. Some royals from England. Where were the old blackboards discovered? A, Ohio, B, Oklahoma. Oklahoma. And that was The Daily English Show. We're planning to film outside of the studio on location somewhere in Auckland on Fridays from now on. Let me know if you have any suggestions for where you think we should film. Maybe on the beach, on top of a hill. What do you think? See you tomorrow. Bye. Well, me and my girl are attached at the hip. We ain't so good for each other, but we can't quit. The only two options before us are happily ever after or ending up. Dead. Yeah, dead, baby.